So today we were waiting on our static caravan delivery. Dave had his drone. It's new to him and he's learning how to use it. The transitions are a bit wobbly, but bear with us. This is a driver waiting for the huge static to come down. We ordered one around 37 foot by 12 foot. It seems rather large, but in the scheme of things, we're going to be in it two to three years. So we wanted as much space as we could. After waiting several hours, the static arrived on the lane. It took them four and a half hours to get to us in the middle of Suffolk. It was tight, uh, the roads were very narrow and our caravan was very huge. At some points along the route, it nearly got stuck. And whilst waiting, Dave was filming and I was at the gate. I could see they were having quite a lot of difficulty as they were approaching the farm. You can see on the pictures where the white car is. As the static approached, it had to stop and it stopped for a while, probably about 20 minutes, because the trees were too big <laughs> in the road and the branches were literally banging on the roof. The drivers were fantastic. One of them got a pair of step ladders, climbed up the step ladders and actually move the trees out the way so not to damage the roof of the, of the static caravan. For a moment there, I thought we were gonna lose everything. We did lose one chimney through the trees hitting it. However, the neighbor brought it down later on that day and asked if we'd lost something. But it wasn't too much of an issue because we're going to put a log burner in there so the fireplace is actually coming out. Um, there was a few hairy moments. I was really nervous about it coming through the gates because it wasn't very wide. And actually the guys were fantastic. They put me at my ease. Dave all this time was filming, bless him. He was, he was in the field quite far away so he couldn't really see what was going on. But they managed to get it through the gates. And proudly we walked in front of the static caravan and walked it down to its temporary place just at the end of the farm um, now it's going to be there for some time because we're going to work on it we're going to strip the caravan out um, make it how we want to make it we want to make quite a nice area for the dogs so that they relax and the cats so they've got their tree house and of course, a really nice area for Dave and myself. So after a hard day's work in the field, we'll be able to sit back and relax and realize that we've actually managed our dream. I guess for anybody thinking of doing the same, you know, it is possible. You can achieve it on very little. We appreciate every day what's happening. It's been a long road and we just think it's amazing what's happening and we can't wait to get started. But for today, it's about getting this static on site. As I walked down with the static, I realized how lucky we were and I want to thank all the help from the drivers who were fantastic. We purchased the Static from Statics for Sale Limited in Yorkshire. Do check them out if you're looking for one. They were so helpful and we managed to push it off the lorry and they gave us lots of advice as well. And when they'd gone, I used our car <laughs> to reverse the Static into its spot Soon it will move on to the site where we're going to be converting the barn, but for now it will stay here. Please follow our journey and watch the dream happen. Take care.